for our newest sewing tutorial on Happiest Camper, we show you how to make a super soft minky baby blanket. This baby blanket is easy and turns out so cute and cuddly. We made this using minky fabric on both sides. However, you could make this same blanket with one side minky and one side flannel. The first thing you need to do is cut the fabric to size. Cut it with the stretch of the fabric in the 46 inches side. Then cut the top fabric, mine was the black and white minky cuddle, to the size of 28 inches by 38 inches. Make the stretch of the fabric on the 38-inch side. You need to mark the center of each side of the fabric with pins. Simply fold the fabric in half and put a pin at each end where the fabric folds. Then fold in half the other way and pin at the fold there too. Do this to both pieces of fabric. I used a little bigger pin here so I can easily see the center from the rest of the pins. Lay the back fabric face up, working first from the stretchy side of the fabric, 46 inch side. Then, lay the top fabric face down on top of it. Make sure you have both fabrics with matching stretch directions. Line them up by making the center pin marks match up. Pin the edges together all the way down the side, stopping when you run out of top fabric. I pinned about an inch apart as it is very important in these first steps to make sure it does not shift at all. Time to start sewing. Start from the center pin, sew down the side using a 1 half inch seam allowance. Stop stitching a half inch before the end of the top fabric. Do a back stitch at the start and finish. A back stitch should be done every time you start and finish stitching through this whole tutorial. Then, turn the blanket around and start from the center and sew the other direction of this same side again, stopping half inch before the end of the top fabric. Sewing half in each direction helps to keep the stretch from getting off and out of control. Repeat this process with two more sides. When you are pinning and come to the edge that has already been stitched, just push the extra backing fabric out of the way and pin that top fabric lined up with the backing fabric until there is no more top fabric. On the last side, it is done pretty much the same as the other three. The only thing we will do differently is the starting sewing point. This time, don't start sewing at the center pin. Start about four inches down from it in each direction.
This will leave about an 8 inch opening that we will need later to turn it right side out. Lay the blanket backing side down on the table and smooth out so that the backing fabric is as evenly distributed all the way around the blanket. Grab the corner fabric and line the edges evenly, starting where it meets the top stitched fabric. Pin the corner lined fabric in place at an angle just as it meets the fabric underneath. You don't pin it to the fabric underneath, just pin the corner fabric to itself. Now, turn the whole blanket over and lay it so that those pins are flat. Use a ruler to line it where the stitching ends and mark it at an angle with a marker. The mark should pretty much go right over at an angle where those first pins are. Add more pins just to the side of those to make sure nothing moves. Sew it together right down that mark you made, removing the pins in that line as you go. Leave the pins to the side in place until after stitching is done. Repeat the last three steps for the other three corners. Cut off the extra corner fabric. Just make sure you do not cut into your stitching. Reach your arm inside the 8-inch opening you left on one of the sides. Turn the whole blanket right side out. Then, using your finger from the inside, push those corners to make sure they fully turned out and are formed. Lay the blanket flat again, making sure the backing fabric is evenly distributed around the sides. At the opening area, turn it inside itself by one half inch and pin in place. Then pin where the two fabrics meet all the way around the blanket. Make sure the pins go all the way through to the back fabric. Change the stitching on the machine to a zigzag stitch. For me, I used number three. Using the zigzag stitch, stitch all the way around the blanket where the two meet and are pinned. When you are finished stitching, you are done. Now you have a super cute, soft minky baby blanket. This is a great gift for new moms or moms to be. If you enjoyed this video, hit the bell to get notified about all our new sewing tutorials and be sure to like and subscribe so you don't miss out on our latest projects. We'd love to hear from you about what things you want to see on the channel. Let us know what you think about this project and drop us a comment below.